Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well and are practicing social distancing like me. I know it must be cool being at home all day and watching TV and playing games and hanging out with family. For me, I like after work, I like to watch movies and eat my favorite snack, which is popcorn. I'm sure you guys like popcorn, so today I'm going to show you how to make it using a microwave. This is a healthy way to make popcorn. Usually the ones that you buy at the store have a lot of calories and have a lot of butter, so they're not as good for you. But with this one, you can make it at home and it doesn't have calories, that much calories. It only has a little bit compared to the ones that you buy at the store. So all you're gonna need is a plate, a bowl, and half a cup of kernels. Okay, so all you're gonna do is get a measuring cup. Okay, this is half a cup of kernels. You're gonna put it into the bowl. And then you're gonna get the plate and cover it. You don't need oil for this or anything, you just need the kernels and the plates and the microwave. Okay, so you get the bowl full of kernels, you put it in the microwave. And I'm going to put three minutes, Okay, but you can put two to five minutes. So right now, you're just waiting for the pops to start coming. hear them popping. Since they barely started to pop, I'm going to add another minute. You have to wait for the popping to be at least two seconds away from each other. So right now, they're at least one second away from each other so you just have to wait a little while longer Oop, if you can see they're coming out of the plate I think they're ready so as you guys could see they started coming out of the plate so I didn't want to add any more minutes but if you have a bigger glass bowl then you can go ahead and put about three to five minutes or so you hear the popping, it's getting slower, that means that they're ready. Okay. 
Okay, so there you have it guys. I have all this popcorn just by putting it in the microwave. Be careful taking it out because it is very hot. So make sure to use a rag or oven mitts to take it out. And then once you're ready, you could add salt or um, spice to it. You could add Parmesan. You could add chocolate syrup if you like it like that. But I just eat it like this. And that's how you do it.